uh Bortle here welcome to another episode of weekly wednesday uploads that's right guys on the team Bortle channel thank you so much for tuning in so we have here genesis impact it, the whole set completely spoiled by konami themselves thank you konami shout out to the database so anyway what is genesis impact real quick guys so this set's kind of like tomb chaos to where it's like a mini set and y'all are already like yo what's tomb chaos well tomb chaos is kind of like Again, another mini set that's kind of like Hidden Arsenal. So it's like a little in-between pack to get you to a main set. So this is going to be a really small set, 60 card set. But this set is also going to be introducing Dridents and that new Evil Twin stuff, including reprints. So in this set, there are going to be 15 new collector rare cards. Okay, it's going to be like randomly throughout. Um, there are spoilers online to what those collector's rares are. So real quick, jump ahead. It's going to be Unicorn and Phoenix. Nightmare, Unicorn and Phoenix. Those are the only ones that really matter. I'm not sure what this date means right here because I'm pretty sure they released all the cards because this is a 60 card set. Again, guys, you want to count all these up and see if they're 60, let me know, okay, in the comment section down below if this is the complete set. Again, all these are going to be a mixture of ultras, rares, stuff like that. Let's go ahead and just jump right into all these spoilers real quick for you guys. So we have Crowley, Magicus, that's another new archetype. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Magicus, we have Zoro, and it looks like it might be an Ultra because you see the lettering right there, guys. That, uh, yeah, that's just a little a little clue that's going to be Ultra. And we have another Ultra, although people somehow have already been opening this set, man. Shout out to those European players. And we have Edemion right here, Magicus Mastery. We have a new Fusion Monster for the Magicus Archetype. Uh, it's pretty decent. Okay, looks like they're going to have to play with Equip Cards, too, as you can see right there. Um, Vavram, the Magicus Divinity Dragon, that's a pretty cool name. So, uh, yeah, uh, we have a Magicus Glass Goddess, okay, that's, that's pretty sick. Um, I like how you can see the artwork already ahead of time. So this set's not due to release until the, I think, the 17th of December. So we have, like, about three weeks until this set is legal for tournament play. Remote dual play? Hmm, hmm, yes. Online format? All right, so we have Tri's Magicus. Okay, this is a spell for the Magicus archetype. Pretty cool. Magicus Thurgy. Magicus Invocation. Okay, Magicus Vitra. All right, here we have it. The twins. Live twin skill. Okay, um, yeah, it might be their own archetype. I'm pretty sure it's not, but uh, who knows, man. Um, these are Cybers. So that's pretty cool. Evil Twin, uh, Aki Sickle, oh man, these names are crazy. Uh, so we have some, yeah, it looks like you can just throw this in any deck, to be honest. Um, we have uh, another twin thingy right here. So uh, this is going to be the new Waifu Goo, I guess. Uh, maybe I need to jump ship and play this deck, right? So we have Live Twin Home, uh, Live Twin Channel. Yeah, this is basically a whole new archetype. Cool, uh, Secret Passwords for your twin stuff evil twin challenge okay evil twin gg uh, ez oh wow that's pretty cool good game man evil twin present all right the dritons okay um uh, everyone's trying to hide the goo but apparently this is going to be the new best archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh, guys basically all ritual stuff Dryton beta rastaban that's cool uh giant gamma elitin all right cool Dryton delta altice Okay, Dryton, Zeta, whatever. So again, guys, if you want to read these full effects, make sure to check out the Yu-Gi-Oh! database, guys. I will go ahead and uh, include a link for you guys in the description down below because this is where I'm getting all this information from. And now we have Dryton, uh, the ritual monsters right here. These are supposed to be the new boss Dryton monsters. What we're going to play with the goo right here, guys. Oh, man, you see that 4,000 already. Beat stick right there. Dryton, Fafnir, um, Meeting Nose, Dryton. So, yeah, uh, the cool thing is, um, all these cards, like, I'm pretty sure they add each other. So, yeah, Droll and Lock's going to be a little decent going further as the, uh, you know, 2021 hits. So, we're going to have Dryton's everywhere for 2021, guys. Oh, God, yes. Dryton Nova, Dryton Eclipse, uh, Dryton Asterism, Dryton Meteor Shower. So, hopefully, this Dryton uh, new archetype is going to set the, sell this set, obviously, in the Collector's Rare 2, just like how Toon Chaos did. It was really, really popular, and then they reprinted Unlimited Wave as well, so maybe this will get an Unlimited Wave as well, too. Um, we have Dryton Meteor Shower, 
that's cool they have a counter trap right there uh, cyber's gadget oh that's cool so we got a new gadget here for you guys um, okay and now we're entering the reprints performer perform a chat tricker reprint confirms star drawing cybers uh, cyber angel Benton um this is a pretty cool reprint although there's already reprints nightmare Griffin oh man this is gonna be its third reprint I think so that's pretty cool cyber emergency this is its third reprint so that's pretty cool seeing this reprinted here today um, extra foolish burial I don't think anyone's ever used this card before but that's cool another reprint born from draconis uh, I assume it's a reprint I have no idea bottomless trap hole that's another reprint um you can't get enough bottomless man that's I like this card but it's just way too iffy because you know it says destroy and a lot of cards are protect from destruction uh, Herald of Ultimateness, this definitely needed a reprint because this had a little buyout for a second there. Okay, Chas Slime, I don't know how, but I believe this dodged the Mega Ten, so boom, we're definitely getting a reprint. So this is going to be a really good seller. B Cop from the Underworld, this is another card that was confirmed, Collector's Rarity, so yeah, man, that's going to be another cool uh, card. Backup Secretary, um, this is definitely needed a reprint. Unicorn definitely needed a reprint, and you can already kind of tell that it looks collector's rare already in this little thing right here, I think. But it's already confirmed as a collector's rare, guys. So as Phoenix, so that's pretty cool seeing Phoenix here as well. Um, hopefully, uh, obviously in the past, the uh, collector's rare did have a lower rarity, which was rare or ultra. So it is going to be really nice to get cheaper Phoenixes and unicorns in this set. I'm not sure if they're going to be rare or ultra along with the collector's rarity so that's really nice to see we have dark miss as reprint alistair the invoker of madness it's a really cool exciting reprint because this was in the uh shadows of Valhalla set so this definitely needed a reprint book of law pretty exciting to see this as a reprint i think the only print was uh, fusion enforcers invoke coctus so we're gonna have some more invoke stuff being reprinted that's pretty cool to see invoke the magellancia uh sign of regression um, World Legacy, World Lance, um, I don't think these were reprinted at all. Again, let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I would love to reply to you guys from down there. Engraver on the Mark, I'm pretty sure that's reprint. And Perform Age Damage Juggler, reprint confirmed. So, guys, uh, I believe that's it. I believe all 60 cards are here. Let me know what you think about this set overall in the comment section down below, guys. And be sure to check out, you know, the database to see what exactly is a pretty cool and exciting i think this pack is going to be great overall guys the last couple packs were kind of iffy so we're seeing some new stuff come into play from this set definitely matches and the new debut of dryden that's gonna be really exciting guys because that's gonna be the new ritual deck going forward so that's pretty cool so don't forget to like this video comment down below let me know what you think about this whole new archetype this whole new set overall are you guys gonna go ahead and buy out this set because of that new collector's rarity because of tomb chaos in the past and if you're not a part of Bortle nation sub to Bortle. it's that free and it's that easy oh god yes until next time everyone Bortle out